And then... <laughs> the test tube you wanted, Dr. Harris. All right, put it down, man. Put it down. Yes, sir. Now, leave me alone. I've got to find the serum that will counteract the effect of this fever. Yes, sir. Good luck, sir. Mm. Let's see, where's, where's that culture? Oh, yes. Uh, now, now, this formula will only work. All right, Dr. Harris. Steve is dying. Oh, yeah. oh, you. You dropped your test tube, doctor. Just the way you dropped one in the barracks spread the germs. You know that. But I didn't. I didn't. Tell the truth, Doctor. Think of Steve. Oh, you fiend. Will you leave me alone? I must find a serum that will cure him. Only Gregor Kalanza can give you that in time. Who is he? Where's he from? Uh, I don't know anything about him. Is Kalanza more to you than your nephew? Speak, man. Kalanza got you into this, didn't he? And now Steve is dying. Dying, Harris. Stop dying. it. Stop it. I tell you, I can't stand it. Let me out of here. in my room. Oh, wait, I, I must lock the door. Uh, locked and bolted. Now he can't get in. That voice coming from nowhere, always in my ears. Oh, I'm going crazy. Hmm. Where's my bag? I've got to get away. And leave Steve dead behind you, Doctor? Oh, oh, how did you get in here? I'm with you all the time, Doctor. Oh, please... Go away. Please leave me in peace. There is no peace, Doctor, for a man who will let his nephew die in agony. Oh, I'd save him if I could. Believe me, but I I don't know how. Alanza knows. But he says there's no cure. Did you believe him? He had an antitoxin, didn't he? Perhaps he has a serum that will cure the disease once it is developed. But he told me... He got you into this crime, didn't he? Yes. Yes, he promised me wealth. I've always been poor. Why did he pick this army base for his crime? Because if he's successful, it means the entire army will be wiped out in this way. United States Army? Yes. This disease would wipe out whole armies. But then invasion would be a simple matter. But you can't isolate the germ. There's no cure. There must be a cure. Kalanza would have one. But he says there is none. There must be. Make him tell you what it is. Otherwise, your nephew dies. But I can't help him. Or this country, either. Steve is dying, and you're afraid to cross the one man who might cure him. What is Kalanza compared to your sister's son? He got you into this. Make him help you. Uh, all right. All right, yes. Yes, I will. But hurry. He's out there now, watching the soldiers die, watching Steve and the other men he's poisoned, and enjoying it, Harris. Enjoying it. I'll, I'll get him to my office and make him give me that serum. That's it. I'll make him. Hurry, Doctor. Hurry. This way, Colonel Torrance. Tell me, who are you? I am known as the Shadow Colonel. Please do not waste more time in wondering that you cannot see me. I told you I could clear up the mystery of this epidemic. I will keep my promise, sir. Just step in here, please. All right. Wait a minute. This is Dr. Harris' office. Yes. You'll know the whole story in a few moments, Colonel. Get behind the screen, please. Don't move until I give the word. Here they come. Come in here, Kalanza. Harris, have you lost your mind? Maybe. Dragging me out of the wards like that. You must be mad. And you'd be crazy, too. If that... If that thing followed you around all day... That thing? What are you talking a about? A voice, Kalanza. A voice. Something that you can't see, but you can hear him all right. He keeps talking, talking. Oh, Harris, snap out of it. I tell you, I heard him. He knows all about you and me and the disease. Who knows all this? That voice, the voice. He knows everything. Oh, ah, you're dreaming. Seeing your nephew sick has upset you. Yes, we we made my nephew, Stephen, get the disease, Columbus. Well, he is not the only one. But he's got to be cured. Oh, no, don't start that again. There isn't any cure. You're lying. Harris, don't be a fool. I can't afford then, to. Then there is a serum that will cure the disease. Well, what if there is? I am not wasting it on your precious nephew. Oh, yes, you are. Harris, put down that gun. You listen to me, Kalanza. Either you give me the formula for that serum or I'll kill you. I mean it. The formula is worth a fortune, Harris. It will make us both rich. If you will only use your head. Never mind the talk. And don't try reaching for your gun either. I'm watching you. But... The formula for the serum, quick. All right. Where is it? In my pocket. 
It never leaves my wallet. Give it to me. Oh, just a minute. Here. Take it. Ah, thanks. Now I can save Steve. If you know enough medicine to read that formula. I must read it. I must read it. Yes. Yes, it's plain enough. I can make this serum. Look. It says you take it. Yes, read it. Alice, you fool. Did you think I really meant to have you get my serum? Die like the others. Now. I will take back my formula. No, I'll take that paper, Calanza. What? Who snatched that paper? I did, Dr. Calanza. A hey, voice. Harris was right. Dr. Harris was quite right. Give me back my formula. I'll shoot. What will you shoot at, Doctor? You're not shooting, Calanza. Throw up your hands. And it's Drop that gun. Never. Take it, it then. Calanza's <laughs> dead, Colonel. If ever a man deserved to be shot, it's that murderer. Yes. Yeah. Take the formula to the laboratory. The serum made up in a hurry. Well, what about you, Shadow? My work is finished, Colonel. The rest is up to your medical staff. Colanza and Harris dreamed of power and wealth to be acquired through mass murder. Such dreams are dearly bought. The price of Colanza's dream and Harris's traitorship was death. The hidden menace to the armed strength of our country has been uncovered and destroyed. <laughs> You have been listening to a dramatized version of one of the many copyrighted stories which appear in the Shadow Magazine, now on sale at your local newsstand. <laughs> the weed of crime bears bitter fruit. Crime does not pay. The Shadow knows. <laughs> all the characters and all the places named are fictitious. Any similarity to persons living or dead is purely coincidental. Ooh.